Greetings programs. Welcome to the grid. I am Sark and today's game is Spline Extrusion. So uh, this is a neat little tool if you want to uh, develop some organic geometry very quickly. You want to make like, I don't know, uh, fingers or the branches on a tree uh, or something similar to that. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to get my cylinder tool. I have it set for six sides at the moment. Doesn't really matter how tall you make it. We're going to delete most of it. I'm going to right click and choose Convert to Editable Poly. We go into polygon mode, that's number four on your keyboard. Select most of it. Delete it with the delete key on your keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and flip that under the Edit Polygons menu. I don't really need this soft selection menu at the m moment, so minimize that. And we're going to use this tool called Extrude Along Spline. So I want to click the dialog box. That gives us uh, some options to play with. You can also find it in your right click menu. Alright, here's our tool. First thing, grab this squiggly line and then click on your spline. And you may not like the results, but um, it's an easy adjustment from there. So maybe 12 or up to 18 uh, sides I've done. I'm working on multiples of 6 for some reason. And let's see, maybe negative, negative 0.95. That's a little better. We could taper it in the middle a little even, if we wanted to. Yeah. Uh, negative 0.5. We'll say that's good. Press the checkbox. So next bit is to have this branch come out from here. Um, I like to look for a spot where there's a, there's a cross. It's easy to put a circle on that and keep everything sort of aligned. Um, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. It doesn't have to be dead on. It just has to be in the vicinity. Missing my scroll wheel here, so that's a horror. Uh, we're going to add a loop, right? So there's a couple ways to do that. One is to select uh, all the edges that you want to cut through and then open the connect tool and hit OK. Um, and there's a there's a button you can press I think to sort of make sure that it kinda stays aligned. There's like a set flow. Yeah. So you can press set flow and what's nice there is is you end up um, you end up not sort of ruining the the curve uh, of your geometry, right? So that's an option. Uh, let's go back. Let's do it another way. Another way, I guess, is this really cool Flow Connect tool. I've never used this. Let's, let's just uh, select all our edges and press Flow Connect. It's like I, it's like I knew I was going to want to hit Set Flow ahead of time. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, another trick is this uh, Swift Loop. Let's just let you drop a loop in anywhere. And again, uh, I guess you would hit Set Flow afterwards just to just to keep things that way. But anyway, now I've got um, my rectangles are now squares, right? These are these are now roughly as wide as they are tall. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, but it's better if they're approximate uh, than if they're like, you know, really distorted. Uh, then you're going to go into vertex mode. And you're going to find your cut tool. And again, this is something you could find through your right click menu as well. All right. Deselect all my vertices get my cut tool, kind of face this, and sort of cut out an octagon, right? So there, 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 there. Right? Doesn't have to be perfect. Looks okay. 
going to take these two vertices and I'm going to pull them back a little bit. Um, but I want them constrained to the face. Uh, so when I pull them back, uh, they don't really distort the shape of things. I just want them to kind of flow around this a little bit. And that'll make our lives a little easier. And then I'm going to select these with the control key in polygon mode. And pull this out a little bit. Oop. Turn off our face constraints. Yeah. That looks okay. We could even we could even snap to planar. I don't know if that's a great idea. Look at that. Yeah, actually that's kinda it's kinda neat. Let's go with that. So that's one way. I, I another way you could you could actually extrude from here. Um and then scale this in a wee bit. And then make planner. Yeah, maybe maybe that makes more sense. And then you can always you can always move it around a little bit afterwards if you don't love it. Alright. So once that's sort of facing the way it wants to go. Our branch is a little ornerier than that. It wants to come down first and it wants to go over to the left a little bit. So you can you can do all that now without distorting your whole tree, right? Because you've got this extra geometry to play with. These branches link to each other. So and then you can kind of do it all again. Right? And then figure out, oh, well, this one maybe wants more, you know? Because there's, there's some finer detail there, and so forth. But that's it. That's all I really have to show today. Uh, I thought that might be helpful to some of you if you're doing some organic modeling. All right. Good luck. Have fun.